Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this video regarding Farming Simulator 25 that was gleaned and information gathered at FarmCon 24. Um, for the English-speaking content creators that were there, it was very difficult to follow along with the um, German presentations because they were all done in German. We did have someone translating some bits for us, Kermit, um, the Giants Community Coordinator, but what they then did, which was unexpected and incredibly generous, was the guys that had done the main presentations came up to a separate room and we were allowed to ask questions, interview them about the presentations they'd just done. Uh, which was, like I say, it was incredibly generous of Giants to do that and not something that's ever really happened before. So what follows is some information, uh, there's an interview with um, Stefan Geiger who is the CTO and co-founder of Giant Software with Christian Arman. So I'm going to talk about a couple of things and then cut between bits of the interview, which will explain a little bit more about you know various different aspects of the game. One, obviously, being ground defamation, which people are really, really um, keen on finding out about. Uh, there was a couple of other bits I was fascinated with, um, the aspects of how things would work with regard to tyres, mud on tyres, uh, water, those kind of things, and again, we'll kind of cut in and out of those bits. Tyres, and part of the interview, he talked about um, particles, mud particles, the weather playing a role in what's happening, and the build-up of mud on tyres being a non-binary thing, so it's not an on-off situation. And um, We've had it before where tyres get muddy, and over a period of time, it will gradually come off, or if you um, go and jet wash it, that kind of thing. And what they've done is they've really increased the physics of how that all works. So I'm going to show you now some pictures that then will blend between the three. So the mud will gradually come onto the tyres. And you'll see from the pictures that are coming up now, the level of detail of that mud. And he did say there are external factors which will affect how much, um, how quickly, that kind of thing. So I asked a couple of questions regarding how then the mud comes off of the tractor. So we'll cut to the interview on that in a moment, uh, which I, yeah, like I said, I don't know. I was just, I was really surprised by it. Um, I don't know, most people probably won't be interested. It's just be, get to the ground defamation. We'll get to the ground defamation in a minute. So I'm gonna cut to the interview now, um, having seen the screenshots and see what Stefan Geiger has got to say about it. Well, so I asked about the, um, additional mud on tyres. I think it's a fantastic effect to have it added in. Is there going to be an animation that comes with that? So as the mud's coming off, will there be an animation of mud coming off or will it just be a gradual thing that will gradually just disappear? Uh, both, right? So it basically gradually increases so we can animate that. It's not a binary effect. And we have like particles spawning off when oh, okay. it Brilliant. falls off. Yeah. Fantastic. Nice. Is it just mud and dirt or are there other things like gravel or lime, Wine. fertilizer, yeah. snow? Yes, snow. Does it work the same or similar? Yeah, so we do have something for snow as well, yeah. Okay. Kind of the same effect, but differently colored. Yeah. But uh, that, that's all taken part of as well. Okay. Um. So it certainly appears there's going to be a lot more to it than we first imagined. Um, a lot of the stuff people seem to be... People want big stuff, they want big changes, they want all the stuff. But I think the thing about all of the things they're talking about, with the fog, the volumetric lighting, the volumetric mist, and and the shadows, the god rays, the particles coming on and off vehicles, is all stuff that, when added together, will completely add to the immersion of everything that's going on. Um, when things are missing, it's obvious. When it all is working well, it's the sort of thing you kind of get used to, you don't notice, but it will all add to. And the next question, I think one of the next questions that was asked was off the back of the mud and talking about tyre deformation, but it was talking about rain. Uh, they got new rain um, animations, they got new rain textures, droplets on vehicles. As you can see from the picture, if you drive through water or it rains or you're driving on wet roads, your tyres will get wetter. And that, I mean, that looks, you could see that in some of the video clips when they're driving through water. Um, you can see the tyres gradually get wet. Awesome. Um, when things get wet like when it rains and you get like the roadways that gets wet and everything like that um, does it just become dry after it stops raining or does it take time for it to dry like will it still have the wet look for a it, while it takes a while until it gets drier so it fades out over time yeah okay back to ground 
And so, on to the bit you've all been waiting for, the ground defamation. Now, some people are going to be very happy, some people probably aren't. What I found interesting, and I'm hoping I found the clip in the interview, um, there are two or three people that asked different questions about ground defamation. Uh, the answer, some of the answers quite surprised us and were very, very cool. There was one part he mentioned... I don't know if we were all, we were just completely swamped with information over the course of FarmCon. So much information being given, screenshots, video clips, the, the interviews, and it was trying to process everything. And I don't think the question was asked because Stefan Geiger made a, a reference to something. You'll see it in the interview, and I'll, I'll, we'll come back to it in a little while. Um, I'm... Yeah, I'm hoping people are going to be happy with it. Like I say, we'll see. And this is kind of a first step, and we can see where it goes from here, I guess. Okay. Um, the uh, ground information, um, will the time of year affect? So, like, in the winter time when it's cold, the ground's hard, will it deform less than in the summertime, for example? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so we have like a couple parameters we can control based on that. Also on the wetness, right, we can make it softer as well. Okay. And the uh, the stick, sticky mud on tires, and unlike that it reduces uh, when driving, does it make your vehicle heavier? Does it slow you down a little bit, or is it just visual? Uh, at the moment it's just visual, okay. but of course I'm open to, to add whatever effect as well. Yeah. Cool. Back to ground deformation. I know we talked about it for tires and things like that. Anything else? You know, field if you are ploughing or, or digging or anything like that. Is there any additional kind of level? Uh, there's no kind of digging uh, dig way with like an excavator or so. But uh, the uh, gameplay can control uh, some certain effects of the, uh, the the ground deformation as well. So it's not just like directly physics driven. It can also be changed by the gameplay code as well. Okay, very cool. Does it do all of the ground textures so like gravel, dirt, fields? Do they all behave the same, or they all behave a little differently when deformation? So, so the ground deformation basically works all over the world, right? Okay. It's not just limited to the fields. Okay. Uh, but each basically uh, ground type can control how much it can deform and how easily it's, it's going to be deforming. Okay. So, so of course, like you, if you have like an asphalt area, so it's not going to deform at all. Yeah. And then you might have gravel just a little bit. And then, yeah. But basically, the displacement mapping and the ground information is kind of the same, right? So okay. we're using the we're dynamically generating the displacement mapping information. So uh, kind of those ridges is part of the uh, the displacement mapping of, of the field texture. But uh, after driving over it with, with a tractor, so you can dynamically change those areas. How long does it stay after it's so? If you've driven a tractor through a ploughed field like the photo the screenshot, how long before that goes away? Does that change if it rains? Does it slowly disappear? Well, or? At the moment, the ground information doesn't go away automatically, okay. uh, except for memory reasons, right? We cannot store all that information for a whole world, so there's a certain memory budget and similar to the tire tracks we have yeah. or so. Uh, okay. Okay. Time so, that, so, so at some point, some of the information is discarded, but it's not kind of an automatic thing over time or so. Okay. Also, one more question. Yeah, sure. We saw the tire tracks going through the plowed field. If you plow that field up again or seed it, do those go away then after you've gone back over them? Yeah. So the plowing would basically reset everything to the texture information. Yeah. As you cross it, though, so as you cross it, would it cut through it or would it just disappear? So if the tracks are going this way and you're plowing this way, you would just get mm -hmm. one plow mark through the tracks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crossover. <laughs> so as you've just seen and heard, there's a lot to unpack with this and a lot more to it than I think we first originally thought. Um, I know people are going to be disappointed you can't dig. Um, whether that'll be something that will come in the future, I, I, I don't know. It's interesting the information that he spoke about um, and when very some people ask questions with regard to temperature rain so how wet the ground is will depend how much it deforms um the wetness i mean that's a massive feature 
In the colder weather when it's frozen, it won't deform as much. Then going on to talk about the fact that this is not just on fields, this is across the entire map. So everything will have some form of ground deformation. As he said, tarmac's not going to deform at all. Gravel might deform a little bit. Then when you move around onto grass fields, pathways, you know, you're going to get some form of deformation and that will depend on the surface and obviously then the time of year, rain, that kind of stuff. That's huge. I mean, that's, that's a big thing. And as you said, memory capacity... Just as we have the tyre tracks that sit on the ground at the moment, um, these will go after time, over a period of time, because you can't have these all across an entire map because the memory space and capacity required to retain that information would be huge. So they will gradually go. Um, I'm wondering if there's a part of the, the interview missing, because I'm sure someone asked the question about if it rains... Um, do they get shallower? Do they gradually kind of wear down? I could have sworn he said they did, but I can't find that in the interview. Um, the bit I was talking about, which, which uh, for me, I don't know why none of us followed up on. I might reach out to Kermit to find out. Uh, when someone asked about, is there, I think it was DJ Goham asked, if there's any other aspects of the game it will affect. And he said that the gameplay can control some certain effects of the ground deformation. It's not just directly physics driven so directly physics driven is a vehicle driving across the field a tractor with a trailer a tractor with you know whatever it might be that's direct physics driven the gameplay can can control some certain aspects of ground deformation i'm not sure what that means um will it be weather will it be i don't know if you cut down a tree if a tree hits wet ground will it i mean you know i i'm, I'm still I'm, it's that thing of we found out a load more and I've got more questions, you know. And it's always when you walk away from a situation, you give it time to process everything that's happened and go through what's what's going on. And then think, I wish I'd have asked this. I wish I'd have asked that, you know. Um, I'll reach out and I'll see if I can find out any, any more information on that. But, like I said, this was just to pass on some information, some extra stuff. We were lucky enough to have the interview. Um, so this might not be information that's been disseminated generally around uh, everywhere. Um, a little bit about tyres, about mud on tyres, a little bit about, about the wetness, a little bit about ground deformation. Um, it's exciting stuff. It's cool to see where it's going to go from here. And again, once it gets in the hand of modders, then what happens? You know, what will become of the process? Um, it's exciting. Um, anyway, all that being said, don't forget you can pre-order. There are pre-order bonuses. You've got the MacDon pack if you pre-order. Um, the collector's edition. You've got the gold New Holland harvester. Um, there's also, if you go for the year one bundle, you get the year one season pass as well, which will have the three DLCs and the fourth one being a UK based map. We know that already is going to be UK based, a generic, but we're not quite sure where in the UK it's going to be. If you are going to pre-order, there are two links in the description, one that will take you to PC digital download. If you use the partner code, Mr. Sealy P, all capital letters, um, that will help out on the Giants partner program and, you know helps me out, helps the channel out a little bit, that would be fantastic. The other one is a PC, PC retail forwarding link. That will take you to the Giants website. If you're playing on console, that will give you options to choose different places to purchase, whether it be digital downloads or whether it be hard copies for your console editions. Unfortunately, the partner code doesn't work on that, but it might just be easier for you to use the link, go through rather than searching around the interwebs, trying to find um, the copy or the thing you might specifically want. But anyway, as I said, I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.